and welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Caxbit Productions. Thanks a lot for clicking on my video today and please remember if you like my videos, you like the tips, the advice, information, please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now because it's really important and it helps keep me motivated, keeps the YouTube channel growing and keeps me producing new videos for you free right here on YouTube. So make sure to subscribe right now. All right, so today I am going to quickly talk a little bit about uh, how to heat set water-based inks with and without forced air. The deal is, is that plastisol inks are different from water-based inks in that plastisol inks cure. So the ink actually rubberizes and changes from uh, technically not a liquid, but it, it's, it's a solid to a rubber. Uh, plastisol ink, I don't know if is really technically considered a liquid uh, because it's so pasty. So it, it basically, when plastisol ink dries, it actually cures and the, the rubbers and whatnot in the ink with the plasticizers bond and kind of transform into a rubber, so to speak, okay? So the process is curing. So it's a lot different with water-based inks where the carrier of the pigments, which is a solvent, evaporates out of the print and then what's left behind is mostly, you know, it's basically pigment. So the pigment has to be heat set in order to kind of stain the fabric in such a way that it's going to be permanent and bond to the cotton because that's what we want with the uh, water-based pigments, the inks and stuff, we want it to bond to the cotton. So they're heat set. And so, like I said, plastisol inks are cured at about 330 degrees Fahrenheit for, you know, the time varies depending on how much ink you print and such, okay? And water-based inks, you know, it's all relative to the particular brand you use, so always check with your manufacturer. But generally speaking, we can say they heat set at around 250 degrees or so. And um, so that what that means is, is that in order to heat set a water-based ink print, you have to first evaporate out the carrier, the solvents, and allow the print to dry to the touch first before it can actually be heat set and the pigments can be heat set. Okay, so that means a forced air flash cure is always the most ideal, or a forced air belt dryer, of course, right? Forced air, infrared forced air flash cure or belt dryer are the most ideal machines to use to cure or heat set water-based inks because that's really what it is technically, right? Heat setting. So if you don't have a um, forced air flash cure unit, then that poses the problem of, you know, there's only one of two things that you can do, okay? You can either set all the shirts out around the shop as you're printing. So you print each shirt and then you set them out somewhere like so, you know, with the print up, let the print dry by evaporation to the touch and then come back and put them on your standard infrared uh, flash cure maybe with your pallet add-on, right? We just looked at these pallet add-ons and then you would put them on here and you would heat set them one at a time, okay? And that's how they go on these pallets, by the way. You don't load them, you just set it on there because <clears throat> it's easier that way. All right, so, so that's basically, you know, without forced air, you're kind of forced to set the shirts around the shop and, and out flat with the print up, you know, you can't let anything overlap or touch each other. It takes up a lot of space. Let them dry by evaporation and then you can send them through your infrared belt dryer or your, use your infrared flash cure, okay? So, uh, you know, the other way would be trying to, you know, uh, have somebody cure them, you know, maybe with your forced air flash, uh, while you're printing. But because water-based inks dry in the mesh or dry while we're working because the carrier, the solvents evaporate, that can make it really difficult to try to um, heat set the water-based inks while you're printing. So that's why the forced air flash 
or the forced air belt dryer becomes critical if you want to, uh, you know, reduce your labor time. In other words, time is money. When time is money, we really kind of need the forced air flash and the forced air belt dryer. Otherwise, you're, you're really stuck with kind of letting them sit out, um, you know, and letting them dry by evaporation. Because the only other way to do it without forced air, if this unit didn't have forced air, we would basically have to, if we don't let the ink evaporate and be dry to the touch, then we would have to allow this more time to evaporate out the solvents and then heat set the pigments. Okay, so that's the only way to do it, really, is either lay them out flat, let them dry by evaporation, and then heat set them with your standard infrared flash, or give them, you know, ample time with the standard infrared flash to evaporate out the solvent and heat set the pigment. The problem with that is, like I said, usually you're printing, right? So that's, it's, it's a time thing. Unless you have somebody doing it for you, that would be fine. But they're probably going to take longer than it takes you to print, right? You're going to print more shirts anyway than that person's going to be able to flash cure because it's taking more time without the forced air. Okay, so it still ends up where you're going to have to lay some out inevitably. All right, so I hope that makes sense. That's really, without forced air, that's really the two, only two ways that you can heat set water-based sticks. Either allow them double time or extra time to evaporate out the solvents and heat set the pigments, or to allow them to evaporate and dry by, you know, dry <laughs> to the touch before you send them through the infrared, standard infrared machines. All right, so I hope that makes sense. That's all I have for you today. Thanks a lot for clicking on my video, and please remember that if you need screen printing equipment or supplies, check out catspitscreenprintsupply.com. I gotta get out of here. It's starting to get really hot, and uh, next week, hopefully, we'll get to do a video again because uh, it's supposed to get, you know, we're supposed to hit 120 degrees here in Phoenix, Arizona, so it's pretty crazy. All right, so check in with me next week. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.